So good morning, everybody. And uh, first of all, let me thank you all for coming out. Um, and we couldn't have picked a better day. A few months we uh, had scheduled this a couple of months ago, and uh, I don't think the uh, I don't think God was with us that day. He, he rained, but um, but anyway, today we are here uh, to dedicate this road to Joe Saliga, um, Senator Saliga. Um, Joe is from the Seventh Ward, uh, the ward that my family is from. We're all from Southwood Avenue, and I don't think. I think many of us here have some sort of Joe Saliga story that we can tell. Uh, and I'll tell you a, a very small, but I think important Joe Saliga story. Uh, and it happened back in the early 80s uh, when my grandmother and grandfather, who were committee people in Linden, democratically elected committee people, decided to um, abandon the Democratic Party and support a young man named Joe Saliga for, for Seventh Ward Council. And my grandmother and grandfather were, were committee people in District 2. So if any of you guys ever wonder why I like to fight so much, you can blame it on my grandmother and grandfather. Because they said, we don't care. We don't care who's running, uh, who, who's elected already. They said, we're going with, uh, they called him our Joe. You know, and, and how could you not go with Joe? I mean, my grandmother said, how could I not go with a young man whose father played in the same backyard with her children? So it was no question about it. She was going to support Joe Saliga. They did. He won his, his well, not his, his first election uh, as a city councilman. He became the youngest city council person in the history of the city uh, to be elected. Now, Joe wasn't just um, a councilman. Joe later on became our chief financial officer in the city. Uh, Joe was good with numbers. And to this day, we are still using what we would refer to as some of the Joe Saliga practices with regards to uh, making sure that our debt ratio stays, stays level. And it, had it not been for some of the things that we learned from Joe, I, I'm here to tell you right now, I would, not have, I would not be able to say that this city has not raised taxes in six years. And we've worked very close with the Board of Education in this town. And they have not raised taxes in four years. So were it not for some of the practices that we learned from Joe, I wouldn't be in front of you today uh, being able to boast of, of such accomplishments. So uh, Joe was politically a beast. Uh, you know, you, you, second to none. He ran campaigns, sometimes almost single-handedly. And he was, the, he was our general when it came election time. Election time, Joe was making everybody, he was giving marching orders, and guess what? Lyndon had become regarded as one of the uh, most powerful democratic organizations in the state under his leadership. So um, we're just grateful to have had him here um, to serve in this, in this town, to serve in his county, and, and to serve in our state. And I think we're all better off as a result of some of his uh, actions. So without any further ado, I just want to make, uh, acknowledge some of, we have several dignitaries here. I have my council president, Michelle Yamakaitis. I have the first ward uh, councilwoman, Lisa Orman, second ward councilman, Councilman Barry Javik, third ward councilperson Monique Caldwell, uh, sixth ward councilman John Roman, and the seventh ward councilman Ralph Strano. Um, we have Commissioner Chris Hudak here uh, from, from Union County. Um, we have f uh, former state senator Ray Lesnack, always once a, a senator, always a senator. State, uh, Senator Raymond Lesnack, who was um, not only served in this district when he first started out, but he served in the, uh, over in Elizabeth as well, uh, also responsible for a lot of legislation. Uh, and, and some of the training and tutelage that Joe got was from uh, our, our good senator. Um, we have uh, James Kennedy, who is here, um, our state assembly person. Uh, we have our former council president, Bobby Bunk, who is here. I saw him somewhere here. There he is. Um, and we have Bob Sadowski, a former councilman here also, from the sixth ward. Uh, and last but certainly not least, uh, we, today we made history again, Lyndon. Uh, we have our uh, Senator Scatari, who is now, today, I think this is the first time in the history of uh, the state of New Jersey, that he's our acting governor. Today. So we made, we made a lot of history in this town. And I'm uh, proud to say that Many of the things that have happened, like I said, all are a, a result of uh, 
Joe Saliga being an elected person in this town. Okay. So without any further ado, um, we're going to have the Senate President um, and Acting Governor Nicholas, Nicholas Piscateri come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. And, uh, I want to say a few things about my good friend Joe Saliga, but before I do, um, it, it, it has been an amazing day already for us. We got up really, really early, and we were down in Drum Thwacket this morning, and I had the honor, surrounded by family and friends, to uh, take the oath of office as the, uh, the acting governor for this weekend. So uh, that's not just an accomplishment for me, that's really an accomplishment for everybody here. All the people that I grew up with in politics, all the council members, the mayor, uh, our county commissioners, and uh, assembly members, and, and, and all the supporters. Uh, I saw Jessica Sheehy here today, and her mom uh, was a really dear friend of mine over the years. But before I say anything about Joe, I had an opportunity. We had, we have uh, pens and cards made up for the acting governor uh, today, and I want to present one to the mayor. Mayor, sir. Yes. You, you know, those, everybody here I think knew Joe, and uh, I got to tell you, I probably wouldn't be here without Joe Saliga. He was such a uh, really great friend to me, advisor and a political leader, as the mayor said, uh, part of uh, what I call the, the golden years and the dynasty that he created here in Linden by the sheer force of his own will. Uh, Joe was uh, a force to be reckoned with in local politics and statewide politics. He had a great reputation uh, for his time as the co-chairman of the Senate Environment Committee. Uh, a, although his time in the state Senate was short, he had a long career in the legislature uh, as a member of the state assembly and a leader in, uh, in county politics, and was obviously a friend to the mayor and I and, uh, and many others in this, in, uh, in this day. And I, I thought this day was really over, overdue. I thought something could be, should, should be named after Joe Saliga years ago. I'm so happy that the mayor and the council took initiative and got that done today because it was really overdue and well-deserved. Joe had a great history of public service, and leadership and politics and government and did so many things for his community uh, that a uh, really, really short program today doesn't do it justice. But I can tell you that for one person today, and I've had a pretty good run, wouldn't probably be here without Joe Saliga. So Mayor, thank you for giving me the opportunity to say a, great, a few words. Congratulations for doing this today to the members of council and to you, Mayor, thank you. Uh, point of order, uh, Senator Lesniak, you're up next. <laughs> See, he was only acting. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, you should see the other guy. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so, Mayor, Acting Governor, friends, I represented Linden for 20 years. And Joe Saliga was a, uh, a unique individual, to say the least. Uh, let me first say that Joe could be a royal pain in the ass, right? But then again, as the acting governor knows, I also could be a royal pain in the ass. But five things stick out in my mind about Joe Saliga. And number one, the mayor already covered, he was a financial whiz. Mayor, I was supposed to say exactly the same thing that you did, and how he set things up in Linden for fiscal stability that Linden is known for throughout throughout the state. Number two, and this is so important, he always wanted to have fun. He wanted to enjoy himself. And number three, he wanted his friends to enjoy themselves with him in everything that they did. He was all about a vibrant life and taking everything that he could possibly do to help people benefit from, from the gifts that God has given us, all, all of us. That was Joe Saliga. And lastly, for me, obviously, for sure, the most important, he hired my wife, Selena Carroll, at the time. And as, as, as a result of that, I met her. And it was 20 of the most glorious years of my life. So, Joe, God bless you. Okay, now we'll have the seventh ward councilman, Ralph Strano. Be real. <laughs> thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. It's a tribute to Joe to see that 18 years later, he can still bring this crowd together. 
And that was, you know, a legacy of, of, of Joe Saliga. Um, although um, a tribute to his memory is long overdue, it's appropriate that that we that we memorialize Joe here in his home turf, the place where he grew up. This is hollowed ground. Right here is where so many of our ancestors that immigrated to the United States found their new country, and those same blue collar workers raised their daughters and sons like Joe. Uh, Mayor's ancestors worked here. Joe's, I think mom and dad, or his dad I know uh, worked here. Um, and all of, with all the optimism that they, that they could reach lofty goals, those same goals Joe attained. Did it with brothers too, myself included. I remember thankful to him for that. Before I close, I need to mention how we came to naming this bridge and roadway um, after, you know, it became a responsibility of the city. So as the construction of this bridge and roadway, roadway near completion, the developer requested that the city of Linden take ownership and responsibility in maintaining this bridge as the negotiations proceeded. The roadway was to become a city street, thus requiring the city to name the said road. And as council session, the topic was discussed as to um, what we were going to name the street. So as a council person in the seventh ward, I was thinking, well, wow, you know, if you stand on the top of the bridge, you got a view of Manhattan, one of Joe's favorite places. And uh, I thought it should be named Seventh Avenue, Seventh Ward, right? A little twist on the name. But um, after that meeting, uh, this guy named Joe Boda came up to me and he said, you know, um, and Joe, and everybody knows that Joe and Joe were attached at the hip, There's no secret there. Um, he said, you know what? Wouldn't it be, this would be a great opportunity to recognize Joe Saliga and name, and name it for him. And my response was, it was a great idea. Uh, and, I, and I'm glad I'm glad I thought of it. <laughs> but anyway, um, all kidding aside, I enthusiastically agree with him, and we made it happen. Not one person offered to name it anything else. Everybody in that room was like, absolutely, and, you know. And that's just a credit to a, a, a great guy. Um, and it just, you know, tells everybody just how much we still miss him. And I just want to say Godspeed to my friend Joe. Thank you. I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that this, the Joe Saliga's family, his brothers Raymond and uh, Richard are here, who, who we grew up with. I played Pop Warner football with that guy, you know. So, um, and his um, wife, Anne Marie Pukowski. Thank you all for coming out. And doing a little clean, clean, uh, house cleaning here. I've neglected to uh, acknowledge our Union County Prosecutor William Daniels, he's here. And our Chief of Police, Dave Hart, who's hiding out in the back there. So without any further ado, oh, and we can't forget Joe's on dot here. She's here. 16th Street. <laughs> so uh, without any further ado, um, I think we're going to unveil the sign. Normally we'd have it hanging, but unfortunately, um, we couldn't make that happen today, so we're going to just, all of us are going to stand here and hold the signs. Oh, what, what? There's one behind you. Oh. Okay, well, that, but we're going to present this to you. Oh, this is the one we're presenting to the family, okay. <laughs> so, so, so much I know. Okay, so we're going to present the Senator Joseph Legal Way sign to Anne-Marie, if you'd like to come up. Yes, come on up, guys. Family, yes.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our ceremony from here. Thank you all for coming out.